so so this is tool basically regarding the physics so it you can create using tool using this tool anything and it uh, it makes the teaching learning process very uh, very easy and it enhances the knowledge of the learners so today i'm going to introduce a new tool Here I'm going to introduce a new tool, which is Algodoo. Algodoo is basically came from the word algorithm plus do. So using the algorithm, we create the simulations, animations, and gaming. This is also a gaming tool. So, but I'm basically focusing on the simulation tool. Now, what is the Algodoo? Algodoo is a physics-based 2D sandbox freeware. So we can create the simulation of, of only of two dimensional. And here, what is the meaning by the sandbox? Sandbox is basically like kids play in the sand, they create anything, whatever they want. In the same way, using this tool, we can create anything, whatever we want to create. And it is freeware. That freeware means that this tool is free for everyone. You can download from the website for free, it, uh, it will not charge any money for this, but it has some copyright. And this is a great tool for the learners to enjoy the visual representation of physics in motion. So we can create a, a concept of physics which are in motion. So they will give us the graphical output of the uh, concepts also. And this is very a uh, simple drawing tool in which we can create and explore the world of the physics. Now, using the algorithm, what, what we can do, we can create the animation, we can create the simulation, also the gaming tool, and we can, it is also the engineering tool, but I'm fo focusing mainly on the simulation tool. And this is the basic of the algorithm. Now, what are the features of the algorithm? This is free to use. Anyone can download from its website and it is very user friendly design interface. So you can you it is very simple to use. And by when you start exploring the algorithm, it makes the learning very fun and practically enactment of the concept of physics. We can create a simulations of the of the concepts of the physics which will which we can't visualize in the real world, we can create here. And we can create the simulation of the fundamental concepts of the physics. It enhances the conceptual knowledge of the learning. And at the end of the simulation, we can analyze and create the, and get the result of the simulation in the graphical form. And using this algorithm, we can create a simulation which will help in the teaching learning of the teaching learning process we can create the concept we can create the simulation for the concept of physics which will help in the academic of the students now on what technology it is based on the algorithm is basically used by algorithm simulation ab in which we it is based for the multi physics simulations so it uh, it is having the different multiple concepts of the physics in which we can create the uh, different, different concepts of the physics and algorithm runs on the windows as well as on the mac os and you can also download from the app store for, on the ipad and algorithm is uh, algorithm can be effectively used on the smart book and the convertible classmate pc and these are the proprietary rights of the algorithm we can modify and create the create the derivative work based on the service of the software. We can change the software of the algorithm. And we can't use the algorithm for the commercial purposes. Now let's start the algorithm. So first we will visit on the website www.algodo.com. After clicking on it, we will get this page. So here you can see the red arrow. So you will see the download button. So we will click on the download button. So after clicking on this, you will reach on this page. You can download for the Windows as well as for the Mac. 
So after installing it, when you you have to install it, you can work on its website. So you have to download this uh, this tool. So it will open on your PC. When you first open it, so you, you will see the window screen of this Elvedu like this. So in the left corner of the screen, you can see the browser. You can here save your scenes, find and use the land repository of the algorithm. And in the top menu, you can change the screen if you want to full screen. And if you want to hide something, tool, you want to hide the toolbar. So you can using these tools. So I will later tell you in details about these tools. And this is the toolbar. Using this toolbar, we will create the scenes. Now, first when we open, we will see this icon here. We have the setup tutorials and the lesson. We can set the languages. We can set the background of the screen and the color of the screen and the color of the toolbars also. And in the tutorials, we will get the tutorials of the algodo, of the basics of the algodo, how to start the algodo. When we first starting the, when we first, when we are the beginners, so we want to learn the basics of the algodo. So by clicking on the tutorials, you will get the basics of the algodo. And you, if you want to create an account on the algodo, so you can create your lessons on algodo. So you have to create an account. You have to register there and they, if the owner wants to allow you to work as a to create a lesson on the algodo, he will allow they will allow you and you can create their lessons on the algodo and share with the now. Here you can see the highlighted part of the home screen. This is the toolbar. Here we have the different different toolbars, having the different different use of the toolbars. So in the right corner of the toolbar, you can see the knife. We can cut anything, whatever we will create, we can cut using the knife. And this is the sketch. Sketch. All using the sketch, we can create anything. This is the tool in which all other tools are jabbed. So, and this is a move. Using the move, we can move the objects here and there. And this is the drag button. When we click on the simulation, when the simulation is playing, we will click on the drag and we can drag the objects from here and there. And this is a rotate. We can rotate the objects in any, in any angle. And this is a scale. Using the scale, we can minimize, maximize the object. We can change the, change the size of the object. And this is a brush and using the brush, we can create any object. And here is the eraser. If you want to erase something, we can use this object too. And in the same way, we using the polygon, we can create the objects. And this is the gear. And I will tell in detail each and every tool in detail in when, we, when I will show how to use this on the main screen i will tell later and this this is a circle we can use this we can create the circle i will show you how to use this so when I will open when I will open the algorithm you will see this screen you will see this screen and this is the default screen of the algorithm here you can set up the languages and the color of them if you want to you can set your language English can also change the color of the background. If you want to light color, if you want to dark color, you can change everything. And here I'm working on the PC, so that's why I will 
I chose the mouse and the keyboard. If you are using on, if you are using this tool on that iPad, you can click on the touch screen. So here, these are the another settings, due to the settings and the other options. And on the tutorials, you will see the crash course in which they will tell about the all the tools which are seen on the screen, how to use all this. So you can see here. And I will back to the and this is a tool and they will give the detail thing about the all the toolbars. All the tools on the algodo. Then you can see the identity part of the toolbar. So they are they give the description of every each and every tool. Back to the sketch tool. This is the main part of the simulation. Using the sketch tool, you can do the multiple work. And you only using this tool, you can do the work of other tools. So I'll show you about the each and every tool. Using this sketch tool, you create a circle. And if I want to cut this, I will use a knife. I will cut this. And if I want to move this, I will use this move option and move the object. And if I want, so I will click on this. So you will see due to gravity, they fall down. And if I want to move, I using this drag tool, I can move from here and there. And this is a rotate button option. I can rotate this object at any angle. And if I want to rescale this, so using this scale tool, I can change the size of the object. And this is the brush button. We can create anything using this. I will increase the size of that. If I want to add, see. And this is an eraser. If I want to erase it, I can use this. So here we have other options also. So I will later tell you in detail. So here we have also our other elements, which will I will later tell you in detail. And this is the in the left corner of the screen, you will see the browser and the top menu. If you create any scene, you can save here or by clicking on the file button, you can save your, save your yeah. scenes here. And if you want to change the background of the screen, you will click on the new screen and you can choose any palette from there. And here you can save and share your scenes. And here all the scenes you will create will be saved there. And Algo Box, it is an online repository. So the book Algodo, who created the, their scenes, they uploaded here. And you will find the components here, a few components related to the optics and few objects. And if you want to uh, provide the lessons as a teaching aid, you can save your but first you have to create the account here then you can create your lessons in even here and in the above screen you will see the uh, options it will show the settings of the algorithm 
and this is your toggle play mode in the toggle play mode you can uh, if you want to hide the toolbars you will click on this and it will show the full screen of the, the window screen and this is a menu if you want to hide other options also like properties simulation tool you can click on this and by using the help button you can uh, you, you can see the effect used related to the element and these are the properties of the in the right corner of the home screen this other property you can change the material of the object you can change the color of the object and if you want to visualize the force velocity momentum you will click on this and select the, that options and in the if you see at the bottom of the screen here you we can control the simulation as well as the environment of the environment of the simulations so this is the gravity if you want to uh, off the gravity you will double click on this and if you want to off the friction on the ground you will click on this if you want to see if you want to show the grid on the screen you will click on this if you not then you will then deselect this and in the center is the simulation you will play the simulation or if you want to pause the simulation, you will click on this, and you can do the do the whatever you say to create and redo and the undo. And this is the pan button. You can you can move the screen of the screen of the your scenes. Now these are the main part of the uh, algodo. These are the drawing tool as I have shown you earlier. Sketch, brush, polygon. You can create a plane and any angle. You can create a box, square, rectangle, circle, chain, rope, etc. And using the drawing uh, tools, I created this. And these are the resizing and editing tools. Using these tools, we can make a clone means we can make a copy of any object we can rotate the object we can scale rescale we can resize the object using the knife we can cut the object and we can move the object from here and there and tools for physics simulation tools which will we use in the physics simulation which are the spring gravity fixed friction Excel, thruster, and the laser pen. So using the laser pen, we can create the simulations of the optics and the spring thruster. We can use the and the gra gravity friction. We can use the simulations which is related to the concepts of the physics in motion. So these are the simulations which I created using this uh, algodo. Here you can also see the in the left and the right the graphical output of the simulations. And this is a law of the conservation of energy in the pandemic. So we get the graph of the kinetic energy, potential energy, and the sum of the energy. And this is a uniform motion of a car. And this is a graphical representation of the moving car with the uniform motion. And this is a free fall of the object. Uh, creativity in mag magical keep exploring algorithm and when anyway, you start creating the algorithm you will find it interesting and you will enjoy it i will start i will now show how to create i will first show the simulations which i created using this so I did the screen recording of the simulation. So this is a simulation which I created on the algorithm. The clear moment of best for each thing. So it will just take you for that. 
then you all can choose whether we will simulation of the simple pendulum law of conservation of energy. Um, in the same way, I will show you another. The file is going to generate the report on the phone. And it gives you a report of your average score, that means the average height, the length of the top score, and the path score. Here's the name of the path. Then on the else, for the question was very difficult, what is it? What is it? So let's say my first question, uh, my first question uh, was what correct? For three current responses, my second question for okay, one current response is my second question. Is so, like that, it is with you. Then you will see this is a high school, it gives you the name of the student, date and time. By using this simulation, we can show the dispersion of the light. We can set the angle of the laser. You can also see that in the simultaneously the graphical representation of motion of the ball it is showing the position versus time graph. <laughs> this is the rotation of the earth around the sun. I hope you will like it. Okay. Now let's start the let's start creating the scene. So if we want to change the background of the screen, so I will click on the, the new scene button. You will see the palettes of the new scene. So you can choose any one of as per your concept. So if I will click on this default, you will see this. If I want to create a sub concept related to the optics, I will click on this. So now if I want to show the dis dispersion of light, so first I have to create a prism. So I will using this sketch tool, I will create a prism. And if I want to change the material of the prism, so I will select this. And after that, I will click on this material option and I will choose a glass. Now I want to, I want the light. So I will click on the laser fan, then click on the screen. I want to change the color of the light. So I will select the laser pan and then right click. You will see the various options. And I will click on the appearance. Then I will choose a white light here. And using the move button, I will. 
this yeah Uh, you can change the angle of the moon. I when I using the span button, you can move the screen. You can see the light divided into the seven colors. So in a same way, if I want to create the another, I will choose a new save. If I want to save this, I will click on this option below the new thing. Here save, you can give the name of this save. Dispersing and if you want to give the description of the same as dispersing, you can save this so it will save in your my scenes. If I want to create more scenes, I will click on this, I will select the new scene. So here I'm, I'm creating a car. So using the box, I'm creating a box. This is a rough car. So basically we will focusing mainly on the concept. So I require the circle to create a Time. So I want to I want to try. So I will click, right click and uh, make a same copy of this time. Now I want I have to set the axle so that my tire will move. So I will click on the axle and select on this. Now my tires have fixed in the car. So to move it, I have to I have to insert the motor in it. So I will right click, I will select the axle, then click on right click, and you will see the option of the motor. Yes. I will click on the motor. In the same way, in the second axle also, I have to insert the motor. So I will click, I will select the motor. So when I click on the play button, so simulation will start. You we can also vary the speed of the simulation using this. So I'm decreasing the speed of the simulation, and now I'm starting the simulation. And if I will increase the simulation, you will you can see the car is moving fast. And if I want to draw a graph, so I will select this card, click on the right click, and you will see the option on the show plot. If you want to see the graph between the speed and the time, you will see her. And if you want to see the, you will clear, you will click on the clear button so that the graph will be, you can select the y-axis again and choose other options also. That's why I will choose the position x. So you can see that the, yes, sir. Using this pan button, you can see. Uh, 
if you want to add a claim because this is if you want to uh, add a claim using this claim option we will click on this and make a claim Also, can change the color of the Let's say I'm changing the brown. Now you will see the motion of the car. In the same way, if I want to create another scene, I will again choose palette. If I want to create a something related to the float and float and the saving of the object, so I can create. So first I have to create a con container. So using this brush, I'm creating a con container. I can size the uh, size of the brush using this. So I am decrease the size of the brush so by clicking on shift mouse i can create a straight line in same way here this is a content container i when i click on the stand then this is not assembly so I have to assemble first. So I will use the fixate and in the left and the right corner, I will click on these. So to fix the container size. Now I have created the container, so I need the water. So I can choose any box or the circle, whatever I want. So I will draw a circle, then I will select it and then click on the right button and click on the liquid. Sorry. Just a moment. I will choose a another palette. New scene. So here I will show how to create a container. So I have fixed this. So I have created the content. You can make you can change the color of so using the move button you have to select all this and you can change. It on the glass. So I have created a container. So I need water in this container. So I will draw a circle or a square, whatever I want. So I draw a circle here. Then I will select this circle and right click on this and will cl click on the liquid file. <laughs> Yeah. In the English, I will hold the five and then I will divide the one below the word. Just a minute. I enter it. So, the answer is this. I have to add the leaderboard and just a minute. I have to add it. Just a minute. 
I will show you another one. I will show you uh, it's related to the float and the sinks later. So here I am creating a simple pendulum. So first I draw a ball. Then we'll select the material. I will click the. I will select the material of a steel. Now I want the rope. So you can choose a chain or anything. So here I am choosing the rope. So now it is not fixed only. So without fixing it, I can show the simple pendulum. So using this drag button, I will drag a little. It will start oscillating. So in the same way, I will select this and click on the for this. I will click on the show plot, and you will see the plot between the energy, potential energy, and the kinetic energy. So I will start the simulation. You will see the graphical representation of the law of conservation of energy. I have created a unrelated Spring. So we you can so here I Putting on the spring, well, in the spring, and if I increase the rate of the object, you see the stretch in the screen in the same way. So you can increase the mass of the object and you will see the extension in the spring.
Till now, if there is any doubt, you can ask me. Am I audible to anyone? Yes, ma'am. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask to me. Read with the any tool, you can ask me. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Myself, Sasi Kumar. Good afternoon, sir. Ma'am, can we import images and then we can uh, do the animation? For example, yes, a car. Uh, can you please uh, show me how to do that? Uh, yes, sir. you can insert an image, but it should be a free image. So you can, Sorry. it should be a free. There should okay. be a no copyright issue. Okay, okay, ma'am. So ah, okay. So I, I will show, I use one image of a car. Uh, I use this image and create a simulation. So I inserted a, I draw a tire in this image and inserted an axle in both the tires. And I created this simulation. So in the same way, using your creativity, you can use any image, whatever concept you want to create. So you can create a simulation. So for this, I will show, I will click on the new scene. Uh, I will click on the my scenes. Then you will click on this and you will see the algorithm. Stop. 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 You can use an image. Yeah, desktop. I saved the images on the desktop so you can use any image like I would use on this car. So I have to remove this, the background of this image. And I will use another image, which is not having a background. So just a night, I will. 
So I have to insert a tire in this image. So I will draw a tire. Then by select it and I will insert something. I will resize this tire. I will make the same tire, make a copy of this tire. So now I have to fix the accident. I will check whether it is working. Yes. Excel has inspired in this tile. So I will click on this. I will right click on the Excel and I will click choose the motor. In the same way, I will choose for the another tile. So you can see it is moving. So I will refix it. Okay, you can see. In the same way, you can use the other images also. <laughs> If you have any question, you can ask to me. Am I audible? Okay. If anyone is having any query, can ask me. Ma'am, how to export that file, ma'am? It, it will be in video format or any other format we can export and share with our students, ma'am. Sir, you can show the students on the smartphone. So the file format of these scenes are the PHZ. So it is it is and we are unable to convert it. So we have to show we have to download the Elbodo and we can show the scene on the Elbodo only. Or we can we can do the screen recording of the simulation. We have this option only. How to do, do that, ma'am? What's that? Screen recording. Mm -hmm. Actually, is there any uh, tool available in the Algodo is itself for uh, screen recording? No, sir. You can by clicking on the Alt plus Window option plus R. You can do the screen okay. recording. So whatever you will okay, do okay. on the screen, it will record and it will create in the video format and you can show the screen. In the same way, we have other options also which will help in the physics simulation. We have a thrust, it will give the power to the object or the force to the object. If I draw a, so I will click on the thruster. I will change the force of the thrust
um, we can change the only decrease the force. And now let's see. And if you want to hide something, so you will click on this. Then we have a selection button. Then I will I can move this object, move selected object to the back or the front. Whatever you want, you can do this. If you want to hide this using the move button, we can simply hide this. Yes. In the same way, I created a simple pendulum. If you want to trace a path of a simple pendulum, so I will, we have a tracer option, tracer tool. So I will click on the tracer, then click on this and I will select it to move select it to the back and then it will just me. If you want to trace a trace a motion of the pendulum. We can use this. We want to change the color of the tracer. We can make it more lighter. And also move it to the back. If I want to spring, this is not we can draw a spring <laughs> suspended a mass of the object. And if we, if we want to write on the screen, so first we will draw a box, then select we'll select this box and then right click on this, then we'll click on the text. And we can write on anything, whatever we want. So, And if you want to change the color of the text, you can change it is red. And if you want to uh, hide the background uh, of the box, then you will select the box and draw a box. I will click on the visibility, zero visibility. Zero visibility. Also hide the border. We will click on the appearance and click deselect the draw borders. Using the move button, we can move here. So we can create anything button we want using the algorithm. Yeah, if you have any doubts, you can ask. If you have no, 
you have not any doubt, I have created a quiz. So I will share the code of the quiz. So you have to select it. So. I will tell you the code of the quiz. Uh, yes, sir. Article of page, page, show simple activity of work free and money. So, to join the quiz, you have to. I'm sharing the screen. Yes, and actually, they want simple activities. Is it visible to everyone? So you have to type on your browser joinmyquiz.com and you have to enter the code. Kindly join the quiz. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They want kind of practice. Yes. Then, yes. Yes. I'm going to start with the case now. Because my father is a person. Then we can start from the first. Please join pass. Let's start the quiz.
So here, here you can see the little board of copies. Alisa is a winner. You can see the report of the quiz. So back to the algorithm. I hope you all enjoyed this and you will create more effective simulations of physics, which will help the learners to enhance their knowledge. And if you have any query related to the algodo, you can ask to me. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask. Is it boring for everyone? It was boring for everyone, or it is. No, ma'am. So, you can give your feedback. Can you respond? When you start exploring the algorithm, you will find many more other options to create the simulation. And you will create a many effective in the learning. If you have any question, you can ask. Excuse me. Yes, sir. I try to install on my desktop, but okay, it's not sir. supporting. The breakout will be there. It will support. Mm, uh, you are just, using the Windows. I'm Windows. It will support. Uh, I'm also working on the Windows. I'll take on the screenshot and yes. share in the chat box. It's not supporting the shares of the drive. Try with uh, after updating your graphic card on the showing. Uh, sir, is my graphic card Kelly? You have to require a graphic card. No, that's what I asked. It is Does this app huh? need a graphic card? Huh. So it requires a graphic card. So you can install after. 